Welcome to section 9.8, Mathematical Expectation. At the end of this section, we should be able to answer these questions. What is a mathematical expectation? How do we calculate a mathematical expectation by hand? How can we use technology to help us calculate mathematical expectations? What sort of diagrams or charts are helpful in calculating mathematical expectations? How are these diagrams or charts organized? Let's start by defining a mathematical expectation. Well, a mathematical expectation is simply a weighted average. The weighted average is calculated by taking the sum of the values of all separate outcomes times the probabilities of those outcomes. It's the expected average outcome per trial for an extended number of trials. Let's look at an example to see how we would calculate a mathematical expectation. At a school carnival, students are awarded points for winning games. At the end of the evening, they may trade in their points for prizes. For a particular game, Students pay 50 points and roll a single die. The payoffs for the game are as follows. If the student rolls a 6, the student wins 100 points and gets 50 po their original 50 points back. If the student rolls a 2 or a 4, they win 10 points and get their 50 points back. If the student rolls an odd number, 1, 3, or 5, they win nothing and lose their 50 points. So the question to you is, do you want to play this game? Let's take a look at how we would decide to the answer to this question by calculating a mathematical expectation. These will this are the steps we will take for any mathematical expectation problem. First, we'll cr create a table with four columns, just like I've done here. In the first column, we'll list all the possible outcomes. You can group them if there are a lot of outcomes. So the first column is outcomes. Now in our game, we're rolling the die, and our outcomes are rolling a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. Now, in the second column, we're going to list the probability for each outcome. So we list the probability. Now, we're going to assume it's a fair die, that this game isn't rigged. So the probability of rolling a 1 on a die would simply be 1 out of 6. The same for a 2, or a 3, or a 4, or a 5, or a 6. Note that this column has to add to 100%. We want to make sure we take into account every possible outcome. In the third column, we're going to list the value of each outcome. So we said that if we rolled a 1, a 3, or a 5, we would lose the 50 points that we paid to play the game. The 2 or the 4 we would gain 10 points. And if we rolled the 6, we were the big winner and got 100 points. It doesn't make sense to total this column, so we leave it blank. Finally, in the last column, we're going to calculate the weighted value by multiplying the probability of an outcome by its associated value. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply column 2 by column 3, the probability times the value. That gives us our weighted value. So 1 sixth of negative 50, 1 sixth of 10, 1 sixth of negative 50 again, 1 sixth of 10 again, 1 sixth of negative 50, and finally 1 sixth of 100. Now that we have the weighted value for each possible outcome, we're going to place the total of these weighted values at the bottom of that fourth column. This is our mathematical expectation or the weighted average. So if I add up all of these values, I have three negative 50s, so a negative 150, and a positive 100, a positive 10, and a positive 10. So that's a 
positive 120 with the negative 150 gives me negative 30 over 6, or negative 5. So this value of negative 5 is my mathematical expectation. What I would expect to win or lose on average if I played this particular game over and over and over again. 